Dr. Kyle Ajulo, a renowned constitutional lawyer and civil rights activist on Sunday, urged President Muhammad Buhari to extend forgiveness to agitators, repentant terrorists, and bandits who are up in arms against the state. Ajulo made the appeal in a statement in Lagos entitled A Plea of Amnesty for Sunday Boho in Amdikano and others. According to him, the president should consider the amnesty a matter of utmost national importance. I strongly urge an appeal to President Muhammad Buhari, the father of the nation, that as a matter of utmost national importance, he should extend forgiveness to agitators, repentant terrorists, and bandits who are up in arms against the state. As the principal name representative on and numerous on you know you know CVs of the Nigerian state, it is well within its right to show clemency, he said. Ajulo employed the president to give heed to the timeless message of that Shakespearean character, Potia, who eloquently washed doors in the act for scene one of the classical work, The Merchant of Venice. The quality of mercy is not strained, it droppeth as the gentle rain from heaven. Upon the place beneath, it is twice blessed. It blesseth him that gives and him that takes. This mightiest, in the mightiest it becomes. The throned monarch, better than his crown. His scepter shows the force of temporal power the attributes to our way and majesty. Wherein does sit the dread and fear of kings, but mercy is above the scriptural sway. It is enthroned in the heart of kings. It is an attribute to God himself. And earthly power does then show like as gods. When mercy Seasons Justice, Ajulo quotes, Shakespeare's works in part. According to him, such intervention should not in any way be construed as suggested an end to military operations in the affected states across Nigeria and especially in the northern region. He said, that the psychological dimension of the welfare presumed that the Nigerian military could wrap up their operations by paying close attention to the current disposition of some of the already fatigued terrorists and their leaders. Ajulo added, this of course is in line with the de-radicalization efforts of the military. Beyond these efforts, it is suggested that the president can change the narrative of the war by offering a one-time peace path to some identified leaders and financial sponsors of terrorism as well as leaders of secession movements in Nigeria such as IPOB and Ilano Omo Odua. What is your thought about this? What is your own reaction to this main situation of things? We have heard what Dr. Ajulo has said. Dr. Ajulo is a renowned constitutional lawyer and civil rights activist who have urged the President Muhammad Buhari to extend forgiveness to agitators, repentant terrorists, and bandits who are up in arms against the state. What is your own reaction to this? You know, even before now, some of these bandits, some of these terrorists, some of these criminals have been granted amnesty and now Ajulo is urging for the president to extend this forgiveness to the agitators also. Let them also enjoy from this forgiveness 
let them enjoy this amnesty are given to them pardon them including the bandits who are up in arms against the state that's what ajilo have said what is your own reaction to this what is your thought about this present situation ajilo made the plea in a statement in lagos titled a plea of amnesty for sunday boho in Andikano and others who would like to share on point of view with us via the comment section on this that has been said but before we go let's people's reactions and their thoughts about this let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in nigeria what was he or being now reacted to this and said oga you are on your own these two wise men from the south doesn't need amnesty what they are actually looking for is freedom justice equality and fairness what is your thought about this? We have heard what Mwaboize Obina have said concerning the present situation of things. That these two wise men of which you are telling, you know, and urging the president to please, you know, grant amnesty are not really looking for amnesty. They don't need amnesty. What all they are fighting for, pardon, is that they want freedom. They want justice. They want equality and fairness that's what they are fighting for that is what they have been looking for and that is what they will get because they are not ready to back down on this present agitation so rather than giving them amnesty grant them what they want and let them go freely or else even if they are granted amnesty these people will still continue to agitate for what they want because that is what you know they have in mind and they are really trying or their possible best to make sure that all these things is been actualized that is what obina have said what is your own reaction to this you know some people was to say that in abdikano and sunday boho you know they don't deserve forgiveness some people will say they don't deserve forgiveness but to face the justice that is what some people will still say considering the way things are presently but as you can see we still have people who are still in support of the president Muhammad Buhari looking at what happened in the 76th section in the US you can see we have the pro Buhari and we have the anti Buhari secessionist so things are really happening in this country but according to what Obin have said in Andikanu and Sunday Boho they are freedom fighters they are not looking for amnesty in fact they don't need amnesty what they are actually looking for is freedom justice equality and fairness and all this is not for themselves alone but for the entire region we would like you to drop your thoughts on this pain situation it is only when you surrender you can be granted amnesty in abdikan when sunday buhu are not ready to surrender they are not ready to back down on this their agitation so if you truly want them to be free grant them what they want and release them so that they will not agitate again because what they agitated for has already been actualized that is what obina have said we would like you to drop your thoughts and reactions via the comment section on this don't forget that grant Igboho, kanu and others clemency that is what dr kayode ajulo have told the buhari government to please grant them amnesty we would like you to drop your thoughts on this Thank